Praise the Lord, everyone. I pray you are having an awesome day. Today is a beautiful day, and I thank the Lord for this day, for the sunshine. I'm thankful for the fall weather that's coming and our many blessings in the natural and in the spirit. Praise God. We are blessed beyond measure. I want to share the Word of God today. Uh, just a very short message, but it is powerful. The Word of God is power. And I want to share this with you today about the unmovable kingdom, the unshakable kingdom. How many know that we're living in a time of, of a shaking, a time of apostasy, a time of um, perilous times, praise God, where there'll be boasters and haters of those that do good and those that love pleasures more than God. And I begin to think about how Paul warned us in Timothy about a falling away and some will depart from the faith and some will depart from the truth and they will have itchy ears uh, yielding to seducing spirits, heaping teachers, uh, teaching of their own lust, having a, a conscience seared with a hot iron. And I begin to think about how there's many preaching uh, for filthy lucre. And I begin to think about how Peter warned us of mockers in the last days and scoffers. And I begin to think about how Brother Jude told us to contend for the faith. Praise God. And Jesus himself warned us in Matthew chapter 24 about the uh, coming of the Lord. And he said there will be wars and rumors of wars and famine and earthquake, earthquakes and commotions and pestilence and plagues. And, you know, I begin to see an epidemic and we can uh, turn on our news within five minutes and see these signs. And I begin to think about how uh, earthquakes have increased and commotions and things. And he said there will be great signs from heaven. Uh, praise God. And I begin to uh, think about this. And then I begin to read the word of God about the unmovable kingdom in Hebrews 12 and 25. Thank God in this time of shaking, in this time of great signs from heaven, in this living in the last days, getting ready for the Lord to come back, that we can be unshakable in this hour. Though there's a shaking and everything that can be shaken has been shaken. But if we will be rooted and grounded in the word, if we'll be a lover of his presence, faith to prayer rooted in the, and grounded in the word of God we will not be shaken though the shaking will come we won't be uh, praise God unmoved uh, I begin to think about how the word of God says be faithful steadfast unmovable always abounding in the work of the Lord I begin to think about how David said in Psalms 1 uh, uh, that uh, being obedient to the word uh, and a doer of the word is like he that is uh, planted by the waters he shall not be moved uh, praise God I shall not I shall not be moved. I think about the song like a tree planted by the waters. I shall not be moved. And then I begin to read this word. It says, see that you refuse not him that speaketh for if they escape not who refused him that spoke on earth, much more shall we not escape if we turn away from him that speaks from heaven. And I begin to think about how he speaks from heaven and how in Matthew chapter 24 he said he'd give great signs from heaven. Praise God. And I begin to think about don't refuse his voice. I begin to think about his voice. Uh, he speaks to us through the word. He speaks through us uh, through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a comforter. And Jesus said, is it speed? Obedient for me to go away, that I'll send the Comforter. He will guide you and lead you into all truth and all righteousness. Uh, but we can't refuse the Spirit of God. We can't refuse the voice of God. He speaks through His Word. Uh, oh, hallelujah. It is for a rebuke, reproof, instruction, sound doctrine. Hallelujah. We can't refuse the Word and we can't refuse His voice in the ways that He speaks to us. But then I begin to read it. It says, we shall not escape. That's disobedience. You know, that's the scoffers and the mockers, praise God. It's just, how, how shall we escape? But he gives every one of us a chance, an open door. Hallelujah. It says, whose voice then shook the earth. But now, as he promised, saying, yet once more, I shake not the earth only, but the heaven. He, the Jesus Christ is in the heavens on the right hand of the Father, interceding day and night for you and I. He is a great advocate, and he's sending signs from heaven. Hallelujah. How many can say there's a shaking in, in this hour? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Verse 27. And this word yet once more signify the removing of those things that are shaken as of the things are made and those things which cannot be shaken may remain. When this great shaking comes, many have fell away. 
for filthy lucre. Many have departed from the faith, as Paul said. Uh, you know, as we as we had done, went over. There's a shaking, and but it says those that remain that remain will remain, and we will remain by the word of God, by being on that solid foundation in this great shaking. And it says, wherefore we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved. How many know the kingdom of God cannot be moved? Uh, Jesus said, the kingdom of God is not meat and observation; it's peace, joy, and righteousness in the Holy Spirit. The kingdom of God is with within. It's not within a building but it's within. Jesus had the kingdom of God within him. He went to and fro the shores of Galilee preaching, teaching, went about doing good. Hallelujah. He rarely dwelled in a temple or a synagogue because the kingdom of God was it was within. He said, I uh, come to seek and to save that which is lost. Uh, hallelujah. It says, we're receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved. Let us have grace whereby we serve with reverence and godly fear for our God is a consuming fire I don't know about you today friend but my my prayer is set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain and I can't control I want more of you God for our God is a consuming fire hallelujah and I begin to think about how his uh, kingdom is unmovable you know we see the commotions going on in the land we see uproar we see epidemics we see a shaking but he's still God he's still on the throne he's still in control he's still alpha and Omega beginning and end. Uh, hallelujah. And all these things must come to pass because his word is forever settled in heaven. But glory be to God, he's unmovable. God Almighty's unmovable. He's everlasting and we are a part of his kingdom. And it's unmovable. Hallelujah. Hide in the cleft of the rock. Hide in, the, in Him. Hallelujah. Hide in His Word. All things are upheld by the power of His Word. Glory be to God. And when the shaking and going on, hallelujah, we'll still remain because we're part of that unshakable kingdom. I wish I could go on, but I got to go to work today. Just wanted to share this uh, quick video that I'll get on tomorrow and share part two. This is burning in my spirit. We're a part of an unshakable kingdom. God bless you all.